Hello, my name is Tim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books, reading and stuff. Today I'm coming to you with a tag. This is the Penguin Books tag, which was created by Steve Donoghue over two years ago. But I was tagged recently by Kristen at Enter the Book. I will link to their channels below. First prompt. Penguin Classics are the best reprint volumes in the world, says Steve Donahue. How many do you own? One. And it's the one I'm reading at the moment, which is The Master of Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. Most of the classic books I have, this is my Victorian shelf, uh, Wordsworth Classics. There's this Charlotte Bronte, which is Palitra. Palitra is a Georgian publishing house that's starting to publish some classics in English very cheaply, but they don't have any introductions or any annotations. There is a vintage Dickens. Vintage is a part of Penguin. It's an imprint of Penguin. Uh, George Eliot, this is also Penguin. This is a Penguin popular classic. Silas Marner. I do have five Penguin Black Classics, these little black classics. Steve Donahue has 610 Penguin Classics, which is 609 more than me. Kristen has a lot of the beautiful cloth bound Penguin Classics. I don't have any of these. Second prompt. Penguins evolved 70 million years ago. What's your history with Penguin classics? As you see, I don't have many Penguin classics, so just the one. When I was a child, the first publishing imprint I was aware of was Puffin. Puffin used to come to our school maybe once a year and show us a lot of their books. I looked on my shelves, I've just got one Puffin book I could find. This is Matilda by Roald Dahl. This wasn't available in my childhood, but I did read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James and the Giant Peach, which were published when I was a child. So this has the puffin imprint. Number three. The Penguin Classics logo is a penguin, the world's most famous flightless bird. What's a classic that just didn't take flight for you? For this I go with J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye. I didn't like this at all. Sorry Alan at Big Hard Books, I know it's one of your favourites. But I just found Holden Caulfield just a whiny adolescent and I really didn't like his story. The Emperor Penguin is the most recognisable species but the Adelie is everybody's favourite. What's your favourite Penguin classic? I saw East of Eden as a Penguin classic, so I'd probably go with that, or maybe To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I had these on Kindle on my phone, not as nice books to put on my shelf. Penguin classics began in 1946 with Ev Rea's translation of the Odyssey. What's your favourite book from 1946 or the 1940s in general? I had a look what was published in 1946 and I saw Titus Crone by Mervyn Peake was published then. I really like Titus Crone and the second book in the Gormenghast trilogy, Gormenghast. So I'll go with Titus Crone. It's an incredible fantasy. It's very well written and it's just an amazing book. Prompt number six. Penguin Classics tries to enshrine the classics to literature. Name some books you'd like to see enshrined. Interesting terminology. I'd like to see this as a Penguin classic. This is Nodo Dombadze, who is a Georgian writer, Granny, Illico, Ilarian and I. Of the books I've read from Georgian literature and English translation, this is my favourite and I'd love to see this as a Penguin. It's the story of these four characters who lived in Guria in the west of Georgia and it's very funny. So that was my take on the Penguin Classics tag. As I said, I only have one Penguin Classic. The last thing to do is to tag some people. Although when Steve Donahue created the tag, he tagged everyone. So 
you have been tagged, even if you don't think you have. But I will tag Kazen at Always Doing, Amy Marie, and then another Amy at Amy's Rambles, and Sonia at An Enthusiastic Reader. If you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe below, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.